Shalom. This week's Sedra is Sedra Slechacha. Chumash and Midrashim are at the only places that we find Avraham discussed. In the fifth chapter of Pirkei Avos, the Mishnah reads, there were ten generations of people from Noach to Avraham, to show how abundant God's patience was. For every one of those ten generations provoked God continually, until Avraham our father came and received the reward of them all. The Mishnah is strange on a number of, of number of accounts and requires thorough explanation. In addition to the difficulty of the Mishnah itself, the Mishnah immediately preceding this Mishnah recorded the following. Listen carefully because it's a little strange. There were ten generations from Adam to Noah. This time not Noah to Avram, but Adam to Noah. There were full ten generations between them to show just how great God's patience was with mankind. Every one of those generations provoked God continually. Now here's where we have it different than the than what we saw before, because every one of the ten gen, those generations provoked God continually until God brought the flood upon them. The previous Mishnah stated that in the end of God's patience was a flood, seemingly stating that God's anger accumulated until it manifested itself with the flood. In our Mishnah about Abraham, though, we see that it would seem that God's anger accumulated, but instead of God's anger com- accumulating in a punishment, it accumulated in Avram being rewarded. The Rambam wrote that the idea of a reward in this world is an impossibility. The Torah's wisdom and its mitzvahs are so vast, it is ludicrous to think that a person would be rewarded for doing something so eternal with something so temporal as reward in this limited physical world. Rather, Hashem rewards man after death. But to help man perfect himself even more, Hashem gives people who demonstrate a desire to perfect themselves the tools they'll, the tools they'll need. They won't have to worry about about making a living, they won't be ill, and there'll be peace in their time. If a person demonstrates a desire to move away from Torah mitzvos, God will help them as well. God provides enough distractions to ensure that they have too much to do to study and observe mitzvos. True reward only happens in the eternal in the eternal world, in our post-death existence. When the Mishnah states that Avram received reward of everyone, what it means is that the entire ten generations demonstrated that they were not interested in God, his Torah, or his mitzvahs. For ten generations, things just moved downhill. As the Rambam wrote, the wise men among them would think that there is no God, other than the stars and the spheres, for whose sake and in resemblance of which they had made these images. God was not recognized or known by anyone in the world with the exception of a few individuals, for example, Chanoch, Medushalach, Noach, Shem, and Ever, The world continued in this fashion until the pillar of the world, the Eitan, the patriarch Abraham, was born. When Avram recognized God and began spreading his message of monotheism, people began to listen. Avram demonstrated a true appreciation of his love of God. Hashem rewarded Avram with the efforts of ten generations worth of corruption. Instead of the punishment that ended Noach's generation, Avram taught about God, and instead of a punishment, He was given a reward. Shabbat Shalom.